Inversion, Tate Frost, unfortunately, the new look. 62 outside that window with Murray Bridge racer, Robert Hurd. We're green on, oh, no! Big wreck for David Murcott. Lines got in there as well, but that was a jarring impact for Murky. And there was a lot of damage to the Downing Brothers, number 97. So Murky, who celebrates 35 years in the game of sprint car racing. Through replay coming up, the clayperview.com replay. So give us a look at what happened. Oh, man. Looked like Lisa's car just tracked hard left off the exit to the corner. I'm not sure if that's the way that you saw it, Dave, but it, uh, Phil, but it looked to me like Unfortunately, he's made contact with the left front of Lisa Walker. Now, did lines he managed to avoid most of that? Oh, just a jarring impact for Dave. I think that first replay that we saw, to me, Phil, looked like Lisa's car just turned turned in to the left. Yeah, just as the has got to the start line there, just jumped on the gas. You see Lisa's car just drives hard off the... Might be just a contact there, Dave. Sort of around the middle of the racetrack as well, but he would not have been expecting that at all because he was no. taking the natural line. What a drive job from Lines to miss the majority of that impact. And I'd say that the 83 is actually in pretty good shape too. There's not any visible damage, not even to the top wing or anything to the Stephen Lyons car. So, so what happened with the four with Lisa? Because the car just tracked like pushed hard left. So we will have a look at it again on our clay view big screen. So you can see they both get to the stripe nice and well basically together. It's a great start from both cars. But you see that Lisa's car, just as she probably gets on the gas, right about there, it's just starting to turn left a little and just gets into the right rear. Probably the worst possible spot in that 97 and just turns it completely against the stagger. And right there, how lucky is Stephen Lyons not to get involved in that any heavier than what he did. Great drive. You actually see Steve actually turning the wheel hard inside the cockpit. So he's actually he's trying to, he's driving that car despite the fact that he's backwards down the front straight. And that's just a horrible sight to see David Murcott's car being removed from the racetrack in that fashion. A lot of work to be done by the team in the pits. It'd definitely be a B main start now because there's just only one heat race per night. So qualifying and one heat is all you've got.